What's up, everybody? My name is David from Bald Guy Media, bringing you our franchise's focus. Today, we're talking about the Washington Commanders. They have gotten rid of Riverboat Ron, and they have hired a younger man by the name of Riley Rivers. Nothing to do with Riverboat Ron or anything like that. Just worked out that way. Riley Rivers, named after someone I know who happens to be a Commanders fan. And uh, he will be taking over the Washington Commanders and try to bring them from the bottom of the NFC East to the top. As you may or may not know, the winner of the NFC East is, hasn't been the same team two years in a row for like 18 years or something like that. I, that might be a bit of an exaggeration, but it's, it's a lot of years. Um, now, one thing I noticed, hold on, let's wait, wait for that. Getting ahead of myself. Let's introduce the coach. Over here, uh, Riley Rivers. Uh, as far as what we're running on offensive defense, not sure yet. But I think this team, kind of like the uh, Patriots, is a little bit closer to turning around next season depending how things fall especially the draft and free agency but I got something in my little noggin here because of an issue I discovered let's get into the issue and see if you notice what is wrong with this picture go to draft picks do any of you know what is wrong with this picture And I didn't realize this before. I should have. But if you notice, in our previous video with Bears, they have their second round pick. They are not supposed to have their second round pick. It, Washington is because they traded. They made a trade. Washington's also supposed to have a th compensatory third round pick from the 49ers. They don't have compensatory third round picks. So Washington's really supposed to have the Bears second. And I'm going to say a fourth or a third from the 49ers. I think a third's fine because the 49ers have got a really low, uh, well, high, high, depending on how you look at it, a back end of the third round draft pick, no matter what. So, excuse me, how do we fix this? It gives me, actually, I think a really good idea. It makes Washington a sleeper team to acquire... Justin Fields? Question mark. Yes, Justin Fields. Sam Howe. I mean, I think he's um, he's a star dev. No, he's not. So that even he's, yeah, dude. Sam Howe was like good for a couple games in garbage time. I mean, he's got 93 throw power, but I'm I, Sam Howe's not doing it for me. This is new ownership. This is a new, you know, organization. And also, we found Ramon J. Stevenson. We'll be putting him back on the uh, Patriots. We'll take one of those seventh-round picks or something like that. So, But, like, look, you got Brian Robinson's fine. Antonio Gibson doesn't want to come back. Whatever. But Brian Robinson, we can uh, run the rock. Uh, Justin Fields has. He's got his, uh, whatchamacallit, DJ Moore. He's got his DJ Moore. Got a young rookie in Jahan Dotson. And he's a tight end. The line, I mean, patchwork until we can place these guys little by little. Um, actually, right guard's fine. And then we're going to move Ricky Stromberg over to uh, probably left guard. Right tackle's fine. Now, this is where we really need to replace guys. Left end, right end. Find a D tackle. We need a left outside linebacker. Probably need a, a middle linebacker at some point. I like Jamin Davis. I mean, he could play a little, maybe a little, uh, middle linebacker as well. Corner. Find. Okay. Safety. Okay. Like, they can be built up. You know, Cameron Curl could be the inbox safety. Um, and Jartavius Martin could be the, uh, I mean, Jartavius Martin could be something, you know. 
So, look, I have three ideas here, and I want your opinion. You get to help me choose what we do. Now, here's my ideas. So, technically, we're supposed to have the Bears second round pick, and we want Justin Fields. So, and we're getting a third from the 49ers. Do you think that letting the Bears keep their second round pick and then setting our second round pick for Justin Fields is enough? So we, the Bears get two top, what, top 10 second round picks this year for uh, Justin Fields. So that would give us the fourth overall pick, nothing in the second, but two thirds. You know, not bad. Uh, we could still work with that. Or, or, pick swap. What do I mean? So, we send our first and our second to the Bears in return for their first and their second. So, we move back. And I think this matters more in the first round. So, the Bears have... 10th overall pick so they have the first and the 10th overall pick I mean not to spoil anything but I don't think that the first one two three picks aren't all the QBs they should be they they all need them um, right someone's drafting quarterback in those first three rounds first three picks the Bears Pull a, I guess you would say, a Texans, right? So, they get the two best players in the draft with this. They use Fields to move up six picks in these two rounds. So, they get Caleb Williams, and then they get the fourth from uh, the Commanders. And with the fourth overall pick, they take Marvin Harrison Jr. Yo, that's, I like that. I need to know, do you think that's a good move? Right? Um, Because also, realistically, if the Bears take Caleb Williams at number one without having already worked out a deal with somebody, you know, you kind of lose some leverage off Justin Fields a little bit. You kind of have to make that move ahead of time. And you're going to take a chance that Cale Williams is there at four. And if not, you can, you know, um, there's another really good wide receiver is right behind him. <sighs> they take my coffee. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm like, this is, I like this idea a lot. So, you tell me what you want me to do, what you think we should do. Go over them again. The Bears would receive Commanders second round pick and their second round pick back. Right? So the Bears would have the first, the tenth, the forty second, and whatever the commanders uh, higher draft pick is in the second. So they'd have two first, two seconds, a third two fours, a fifth, and a sixth. That's what the Bears would end up with to get rid of Justin Fields. Or, everything pretty much stays the same as far as draft picks, except for the Bears move up from 10 to 4, and they move up in the second round to the fourth overall pick in the second round to get rid of Fields. I mean, those are two really good options, and I think that makes the Commanders, you know, this is really a Commanders breakdown here. I mean, look at it, Commanders. I had, a, I had, a, I have a, an idea for them who they really should take at four. There's a, there's a outside linebacker DN that they should really take. But you, and then we could trade Sam Howell away. We can put him on him on the block, and we can get something for him. He's young. I mean, Justin Fields with this team. Terry McLaurin, F1. Curtis Samuel in the slot. We start Jahan Dotson. Who's got Dev? I mean, 
tell me I ain't lying, man. Uh, you know, get him another weapon at tight end. Slowly start building the de the, the uh, offensive line. You know, we need three pieces quickly, and then we gotta build these. You know, get these DNs. But we're solid everywhere else. We could just slowly replace things. I think, I think we turn around this Washington Commanders teams quickly. We can make them a contender. Justin Fields is taking this team to the playoffs, for sure. They're they're going to do what I think people thought the Commanders were going to do this past season, which is be way more uh, competitive. Yeah. I mean, dude, I'm liking this. One way or another, I think Justin Fields needs to be on the Washington Commanders. Uh, you guys tell me what you think. And, uh, yeah, we'll go we'll go from there. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm excited about what the possibility of the Washington Commanders can be with Riley Rivers. Um, and we'll see you tomorrow. I think this is coming out Thursday. We'll see you tomorrow for another Franchise's Focus. Peace.